Hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> My crafty friends we are back to do another um memory decks card i won't say it like another card but we're doing the roller decks or the memory decks cards and this time we are using the lawn fawn aloha stamp set and it features a cute little pineapple and i am going to put my pineapple on some sunglasses awesomely cool right <laughs> All right, so here's what I'll be using on here. Um, I don't know if you saw my last video where I made this cute card for the memory decks, but I'm making this one a little bit similar to it. Instead of featuring sharks and stuff, we're going to feature um, pineapples. And on this one, I want to have land. So if you want to see how I made this card, then the link to that video is up here. But other than that, keep watching. So here are some of the Distress inks we're using. We're using Pick Raspberry, Spun Sugar, Mustard Seed, Tumbled Glass, Peacock Feathers, Salty Ocean, Tea Dye, and Vintage Photo. So from my die cuts, I'm using the Lun Fun Stitched Hillside Border. I'm using the Stitch Circle Die, and this is from My Favorite Things. And I am using these Lun Fun Waves. These go with their Stitch Hillside pop-up. But these are the Stitch Hillside Waves. Or the Stitch Waves. I don't know if it has the word Hillside in it. I don't know. And to color our images, I will be using the Zig Clean Color Brushes. Boom. And we are ready to... We're ready to get the craft thing. Let's get crafting. Whoa. -ha -ha. That's the official let's get crafting theme song. <laughs> or the catchphrase. That would be more of a catchphrase. All right, so I'm going to sit these aside for now. Well, I'm going to sit this one aside. I'm using this one. And this is just cut on some Bristol cardstock. And I'm using that because... Um, it will allow me to blend a little bit easier than just regular card stuff. So I'm going to push everything to the side and I am going to pull out the big kick. And we are going to do some inlay die cuts. I am going to get my little heel and put it on here. So the bottom is going to be like the sand. So I'm using the tea dye ink. And I'm trying to get it like very saturated because instead of blending, I'm kind of just gonna stamp this on because I want it to look grainy. Kind of like sand does. I'm grabbing that tumble glass and I'm going to work my way up now moving on to the peacock feathers I love this I think this is probably like my favorite distress ink <laughs> ever I love this color I like to use it on everything I am going to use the salty ocean just so it's a little bit different than the other colors and there we go for that color. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a difference between the two colors, but not a whole lot. All right, so now I'm using that mustard seed for my sun. All right, so now I am going to use in this same yellow and I'm kind of tapping it here because I don't want to break that little piece. And then I am going into my picked raspberry and I love, love this coral color that picked raspberries and mustard seed make. It is like the prettiest color. And then I'm grabbing this sponge sugar for the very top. All right, so let's grab some tape. So I am going to stick my top piece on first. And I'm going to put this piece on. Now we can grab that sun, stick them on there. 
I'm going to stick this in here. And if something's not lining up right, you will know. Something is a little off. I think it's this piece. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we're going to color our pineapples. And I am not sure if I want to use one or two of them, so I'm just going to color them both out. And I am using um, the Zig Clean Color Brushes in number 052, number 050, um, 040, and 041. And there we go. How easy was that? I think this is like the world fastest coloring ever. So I am going to run this through my brother so that it can fussy cut everything out for me. And then I'll be right back. All right, so now I have my little pieces cut out. So let's get everything glued down. All right, so that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you like this project, then go ahead and make your own little roller dance. That's it for me today, you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.